Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wolkie, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. Today I want to talk about some upcoming stuff, including the APOC rerun, which is here, which got confirmed. It is coming um, on the 10th, four days after this starts. So let's get into it. So first of all, the Atlanta story clear support campaign. I didn't make a separate video for it just because it's so, I wanted to wait till the next APOC event was confirmed, which is a rerun. Basically, here's all you need to know is that um, you, if you clear Atlantis before the 14th of April, you get 10 sync quartz and also half campaigns are gonna be happening. One fourth AP for arc one, one fourth AP for arc two and half AP for arc two, which is a Yugastra to Atlantis, pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, all you really need to do <laughs> is just beat Atlantis and you're pretty good to go. So, let me see, what is this, one half? The one half only applies for the first time with the request. Oh, this is for free quests. Okay, this is, but this only is here for the 6th to the 9th. Because free quests and one half AP campaigns very rarely happen because you can grind these. So, that's why these are always shorter than these. But yeah, that's basically it. There's no banner to come with it, so you, if you wanna, if you're looking to pull for Super Orion, that ain't happening. But it is meaning that pretty soon we're going to be getting. Chances are, by the end date of this uh, campaign, we will have Olympus. So next, Apoc. So here's some things you need to know. It is a raid. The raids are um, scheduled in such a way that I think. Oh God, what happened? Okay, I lost access to everything. We're good here, but basically there's four raids. You don't have to worry too much. You should pay attention because raids are... <laughs> I, I like how I contradicted myself. The reason is is that there's eventually going to be a stage where like Jack the Ripper will be coming back and stuff. So you can raid and fight her again. Um, it's actually a very generous raid style, so you don't have to worry that much. But if you're someone looking to grind... Um, for stuff specifically because these are very specific mat drops like for example Jack drops um, black tallow and void refuse along with a lot of money <clears throat> and then for the other battle Shakespeare he drops uh, snake jewels and forbidden pages which is forbidden pages for a lot of people are super important especially with especially if you're into the uh, caster supporters they always need him <clears throat> and then for Aves Sabron, he has uh, Infinity Gears and Scarable Wisdoms, but there's more raid battles than that because the Berserker of Black, who is Frankenstein, she has uh, f the Fluid and the uh, Demon Sealing Lamp. And then we have. No, I have to go here. Atlanta, she has the Feather and she has the Horseshoe good to keep kind of keep in mind this is going to be very hard to keep in mind for many people but the talent of chaos and the yggdrasil seal is for um spartacus and then for moe's raid she has dragon fangs and the uh, spirit root for did jack comes back fran comes back and this is all for stage three and then we have stage four this is where e basically everyone comes back i'm pretty sure uh, we got Shakespeare, yeah, Caster of Red, Vlad, I'm trying to look for Vlad. I must have missed him somewhere in there just because there's so many raids in this fight. It's Iron Stakes and Beast Cholus. I don't know how to pronounce that specific word, but that's what his raid drops. Uh, Semiramis gives a uh, heart and chains. Just to be sure here, Lancer Black, still Vlad, still Vlad. Okay, go to arrow two. Probably not arrow two. Where am I? There we go. Go here. Karna. Karna gives bones and <clears throat> bloodstone tier. Semiramis. Vlad. And the reason there's three is because all three of these dudes are going to be available at the time during this event at the exact same time. <laughs> so it's a lot to kind of keep in track. Um, let me see. You know what would be really smart of me to do? On the final day, which is raid quest stage five, basically everyone is here. Pretty sure it's absolutely everyone. So you can farm to your heart's content on this day on the specific dudes that you need. So keep that in mind. Look for the things you need to specifically get, the feathers. This is just too much to, I would need to make a much longer video and maybe I'll do that for something separate if you need more help with this stuff. But there's gonna be plenty of raid battles. You don't have to worry about there being like missing stuff 
because it, this entire event is basically one giant raid battle and you kind of need it for the points reward stuff this is where you're gonna get a lot of your points so next so it is a rerun the free-to-play character for this one is Sieg. A lot of people burn Sieg in the JP side and on the NA side. I don't know why they did it on the NA. Actually, I do. I think it was before she was revealed. But in the past, Sieg was usually seen as... Well, one, people don't like his character. There's no fighting that. Um, I will say Fago does a lot of good things to make his character better in this specific rerun. And I actually think he's much better in... <laughs> ago than he ever was in his original series as someone who has not read APOC but watched all that anime against my better judgment by the end of it I was absolutely hating absolutely everything about Sieg so for Fago to kind of make me cool down where I'm saying well if he's in Fago he's good it shows how well they've done by the character they've done better by this character than they've done a million characters but the point is still that a lot of people don't like him because either he's a bad character or they took uh gene away from him either one uh, they burned him and which is a shame because he's actually a fantastic caster arts farmer he might be one of the best still even on jp um and he's for free and he's a four star and the reason he's good is that he has a lot of like arts he has like a passive skill that increases his arts performance he has a three hit arts performance which is pretty good it reduces their defense um, he has built-in NP generation rate increase, which is pretty good. He has Matra FC, which is okay. This actually doesn't help that much. But he has a way to charge his own NP gauge, which is very nice. So he's actually very easy to loop with. Especially thanks to that NP generation upgo. <clears throat> so if you're someone a little bit more f uh, free conscious and you want to try to test out um, caster looping, eventually, the funny thing is, is that you don't a lot of the time need which is why a lot of aoe casters kind of get a little bit disrespected and especially single target ones is that you usually don't really need them all that much but when the situation arrives where you need them it is always fantastic it is always very nice anytime i have an event where i'm like damn i need an aoe strong aoe caster i have nursery rhyme and i'm like oh god I'm so happy that I have her here to back me up. And it's funny to say when I'm like, oh yeah, nursery rhyme. But the same thing goes for single targets. There's always going to be events outside of even farming or specific stages where it just is helpful to have a certain like ace in the, ace up the sleeve. And Sieg is definitely one of those. So I would suggest putting away any bias you have towards him. And if you're someone, especially if you're free to conscious look into maybe not building him up right away but at least having him there as an option always nice to have multiple options <clears throat> and in terms of the summoning cam excuse me above my throat i had to actually re-record this again because of the uh, doing it in the first video was just terrible it was like clearing my throat every three minutes so hopefully it's not too bad <laughs> this one but i'm gonna apologize right now but anyway the raid up servants uh this is a very weird raid up because all of these are basically except for yeah, the limiteds are Amakasu, Samiramis, and that's it. But when this banner debuted, it had Achilles in it, and he was uh, a free character. So he's always in the banner. Oh, the other one that's limited is Astolfo. So unless you are a huge Astolfo fan, which many of you are, I think this is going to be a pretty easy skip for most people because not a lot of fans of Amakasu. There are some fans of Samiramis, but she's not the greatest unit in the world. I think that's fair to say, especially for, it's not because of, it's not really her fault. It's the way they've built assassins. It's just not the greatest. Um, yeah, pretty easy, like, banner to just kind of skip. Unless you super care about Astolfo, Achilles, Semiramis, Amakasu, or Mo, or Jack, or Vlad. Um, the craft essences are okay. I think this one, if you could get it all the way to level five, is great because it gives NP generation rate up by 15% and a 50% starting NP gauge. But I still think it would not be the best of this type of CE. I think the best one is still probably... Where is she? Yeah, this one. Because it gives 25 NPC, NP generation and then at max limit broken it's 30 percent and 50 percent np gauge so it's kind of like a weaker in np generation uh rate version of that one so still if you can manage to get a bunch of them pretty damn good next 
I will put the music slightly down. Come on, Donkey Kong, don't be that strong. Uh, some characters are getting a buff. I believe it is Mo, Amakasu, and Vlad. Vlad is getting his... Mm, this one right now? Is it Legend of Dracul? It is the third skill. Fearsome Immortal. Grant self gut status for one time, one turn. Stackable with other guts. Grant self gut status for one time, five turns. It increases his own NP generation rate for three turns. Great buff. Especially, like I said, um, a lot of... Anytime you get NP generation rate up on a uh, skill is great. And especially for Berserkers. Um, because Berserkers have some of the worst NP generation rates. So any unit that gives them um, gives themselves kind of a boost in that is great. He is a single target, and it just makes him a really strong single target uh, berserker. A uh, what? What was I saying? Makes him a very strong single target arts. That's the word I was looking for. Arts berserker, if you need him. And he is free and pretty nice, I'd say. So next, we've got Mo. I believe it's called Lion Cigarettes or something. Cigarette Lion. Uh, increases his own crit star absorption of Buster Cards for one turn. Increases his own crit damage for three times, three turns. Gains crit stars. Fantastic buff. Great buff with this one. Because I think it goes from just gaining in critical stars, which is a 14 to level 5, to getting 15 crit stars, some crit damage, and 500% on Buster Absorption. Not bad. Much better than what Instinct B was. Because, oh my god, poor every unit that still has Instinct. This is the one of the worst skills in the entire game. So much so, they basically had to strengthen every single character. I think Arthur might be the last one. Him and Christmas Artoria might be the last who still have their... No, he doesn't have his Instinct. Is it Beowulf, then? Is Beowulf the last one? Along with uh, my girl over here? Let's find out. Does he still have Instinct? No, it's gone. Does she still have instinct? For sure. She 100% still does. And what about you? Yep, gone. So you see, it's a terrible skill. So they've improved it. Fantastic. And who was I said the last one? Amakasu. Amakasu's, this was his. I believe it is this one. Grants one ally crit store regeneration buff for three turns. Increases their MP generation rate for three turns. 10% uh, and 30%. If this was NP, um, like if this was built like Bride Nero's, I think this make him a fantastic supporter. But the way it is, it's just a very nice support if you already have a lot of NP generation up. <laughs> um, not having the NP stuff kind of hurts a little bit, but it is always nice to kind of get NP generation rate. It is a good uh, thing to just give that to an ally, especially for three turns. So all good buffs, I'd say, for every single one of them. And yeah, I believe that is basically it. Here's the raid schedule. I'm so stupid. Battle, <laughs> battle two, battle three. Uh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Jack the Ripper, Shakespeare, uh, Avasabron. Battle one, battle two, battle three. It is uh, Fran, Atlanta, and our boy Spartacus. For stage three, we've got Mo, who goes into Jack. Um, Shakespeare that goes into Siegfried, a stealthful that goes into Spartacus, which I believe is after one of these dudes goes down, it goes into the next one, I believe is how it goes. That or it's an either or. I can't remember for this one because there's just so many. Um, state, yeah, oh my god. You can see. <laughs> and then by the final stage, you just have everyone. Kind of on a, a loop here of saying, okay, here you go. And I think with these, it's two, it's a both of them at the same time. So, yeah, the raid schedule. I never really paid attention to it, and I was able to get everything I basically needed. I was just kind of like, the way I played it was, I'm up right now, what raids are up, let me look. Do I need a material from this? Do I not need a material from this? And then I would grind. That was basically how I did it. And I would say, I would suggest you doing the same. It's a pretty good way to live your life. Well, it's a very sad way to live your life. That's sad that I do this, but <laughs> I wish it was a little bit more sensing of it, but whatever. I don't want to go into an ex existential crisis. Uh, okay. Yeah, and that's basically it. Yeah, this event. It's a very simple event. It's a very easy event. Shouldn't be too bad. It comes with a pretty good four star. The story, from what I remember, is also pretty nice, so it's something to keep in mind. 
And that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much if you made it this far. If you did make it this far and did not immediately, like, leave the second I completely ignored the raid boss schedule, I thank you very much. <laughs> I try my best here, but uh, sometimes I record these late at night and sometimes I'm just dumb. Uh, so yeah, if you liked the video, remember to always leave a like. Comment down below, tell me how you were planning to do your stuff. I will gladly listen and talk back, usually most of the time. Unless you say something like, I live, I live in your walls, in which case I'll just say, okay. Okay, and ignore you. <laughs> I also ignore first, but it's not because I'm like, ugh, I can't believe you said that. It's really just more because it's like, you should just be allowed to say first. You're right, you were here first. I'm gonna let you rock this. I'm gonna let you enjoy it. Enjoy it, my dude, I thank you. But yeah, that's the end, everyone. I will see you guys next time. You guys have a good day. Have a good night. Goodbye.